Hey, what is going on everybody? It's Youngs. Today, I'll be showing you guys Swordbreaker. This is a shotgun you can get from Crota's and Raid. I will be covering some of the Crota weapons as well as Vault of Glass weapons to kind of fill the gap between now and Rise of Iron just for some fun. Anyway, enough of the intro. Let's just get right into the perks on this thing. So this automatically comes in Void Damage. Accurized Ballistics is the site I run with. We have Grenadier. Kills with this weapon reduce the cooldown of your grenade. In the middle, we have Flared Magwell. Hammer Forge, improve range and accuracy, and lightweight plus two agility, so I go with Hammer Forge for that extra range. Now we have final round. The last round of the mag deals bonus damage and Hive Disruptor, increased damage to Hive Majors. Now before we get into it, I do want to mention this is a high rate of fire, low impact shotgun, very similar to Stolen Will. Anyway, let's take a look at the aesthetics. Alright, looks pretty badass. Anyway, let's just get right into the gameplay. So there will be no Ultra Knight footage for the Swordbreaker today since this is a year one weapon and for those of you who are new to this channel and you do not know what I'm talking about with the Ultra Knight, it's just a little PvE DPS test that I do for every weapon that I cover. Anyway, before we get into PvP, let me just tell you real quick how you could get the Swordbreaker for those of you who don't know. You do have to kill Crota himself on the normal difficulty for a chance just a chance to get this shotgun. Anyway, we're moving right along into PvP, and Swordbreaker is a high rate of fire, low impact shotgun, so you will more than likely find yourself doing a ton of follow up melees or follow up shots with this specific shotgun. It doesn't really like to kill in one shot unless you are extremely close to your enemy. Let's say you use a conspiracy theory or a party crasher, then go on to use the sword breaker for the next game or so. You probably will have a rough time because man, what a difference. This thing definitely seems a bit lackluster when it comes to damage. It's just really not the easiest shotgun to use, nor the most efficient. You don't get a lot of bang for your buck with this shotgun, and you may a lot of the times have to shoot twice just for one enemy in order to get that kill. And because of its high rate of fire, combined with the fact it may take multiple shots to kill enemies, you probably will find yourself running out of ammo fairly quickly with this thing. All in all, these archetype of high rate of fire, low impact shotguns just cannot compete with the meta nowadays. Swordbreaker was extremely difficult to use going against everybody using conspiracy theories or party crashers. Those shotguns have so much range and damage on this one. So I really had to play aggressive, play sneaky, and be a bit unpredictable in order to make it work. So despite all the bad things I've said about this shotgun and this archetype, it still really doesn't mean you can't have some fun with it. I'm always up for a challenge, and I would say for sure Swordbreaker was definitely challenging to use in the Crucible. Anyway, leave in the comments and let me know guys, do you have the Swordbreaker? And if you do, do you still use it and what do you think of it? If you never got this Crota weapon, is this something you may be interested in getting? Let me know. Also, do you think these weapons may come to year three? I don't want to get my hopes up, but I really hope so somehow, some way. Anyway, guys, that's pretty much going to wrap this one up. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please leave a like on the video if you enjoyed the video, and go ahead and leave a sub if you haven't already if you want to see more weapon reviews similar to this one. I'm always covering weapons here in Destiny. Anyway, guys, I will see you next time.